Hey geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to add Open with Notepad to the context menu. As you might know when you open Notepad, let's say I want to open a registry file like I have here. And we're going to do File, Open, go to wherever you're going, and then once again go to All Files. Otherwise you won't be able to just open it because obviously if you double click on it, it's a registry file that's going to run, which we're going to show you right now. So let's close that. And this guide, as always, when needed, including today, is linked to in the video description so that you can get the registry files right here. And it's linked to at the bottom as well. You could just click download now. And once you download the zip, extract the two files you have enable, disable. Let's double click enable. Go ahead and click yes on the prompt. And of course, the final warning. It's up to you if you want to back up your registry. This one's pretty safe and easy to change if you have a problem. You will get your confirmation here. And now guess what? Ready? Right click. There it is. Now, once again, as I you saw me earlier, file, open, browse. Which one do you want to do? So easy enough. Let's get rid of it now. We changed our mind. Another good reason to have the registry files. However, we're going to show you how to do it in the registry for those of you who want to geek out on that. And as you can see, it's gone. So let's play with the registry. We will copy this right here and we'll open registry editor. That is Windows key plus R and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Press enter or okay. And come right up here, clear out whatever you have here. You can highlight, delete, backspace, whatever you want to do. And then use Control V to paste in the code we told you to get right there. Once you're there, you want to right click on Shell. And we're going to create a new key called Open with Notepad. So let's right click on Shell. Do a new key. And copy and paste or type it in. Once again, I've mentioned in other videos. I prefer to copy and paste so you don't make a typo and have it not work correctly. Now the next one's a little shorter so it's easier. So we're going to actually right click on our new open with notepad key and do yet another new key. And we're going to name that command C-O-M-M-A-N-D lowercase and go ahead and click enter. Now we just have to do one last thing we're ready to roll. Highlight this right here, this Notepad EXE. They're in italics to kind of stand out a little bit. And with Command highlighted, come over here to Default and double click that. You will now have a value data, Control V to paste that code in we did mentioned, and click OK. Now you can close Registry Editor and you're done. A reboot might be needed, I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look. You didn't have to restart. There you go. So now let's say you change your mind. You, know, you might want to bookmark the guide or really once again at the bottom of the guide if you get this far is another link to download the registry files. You may want to consider that because it's so much easier to just double click it and that will actually delete it. Why don't I show you? Where'd it go? Remove. Open with notepad. That's all. It just minus and it's going to delete the open with notepad because by deleting the open with notepad you will also delete the command key and hence any changes you made here that's all that the, it does so let me just show you can can you hit the delete key for that yes you can or right click and go ahead and hit delete that's gone close your registry editor and it's gone so do it either way you want I don't think you can go wrong using the registry files because two seconds and you're done and that's what we're here for anyways to save time because it just makes life easier so there you go i hope it's something you haven't seen before as always i know we're not the kardashians or anything but uh please click subscribe that'd be great and uh yeah that's it hopefully we'll see you all again soon see ya